Hello guys, Winston here. Many of you who follow my channel might recognize the Nomad 883 Pro as that other CNC sold by Carbide3D. Your awareness of it might just be by name, or you might have drooled over one when you were first shopping for a CNC, but instead opted for the significantly more economical and larger Shape Oko 3. For a lot of you, myself included, that price difference was enough to stop you from taking a closer look at the Nomad. And that's a real shame, because the machine is actually really interesting. Most CNCs on the market sort of have their own personalities and represent slightly different design philosophies. This one is no different. So what distinguishes the Nomad? Well, let's find out. The guys over at Carbide3D were crazy enough to send me one, and of course the first thing I did was take it apart. Right off the bat, you can see that this is a fundamentally different machine than the Shape Oko. Even though they are both united under the Carbide 3D brand, the development efforts of both machines were very much separate efforts. The only shared DNA between the two can be seen in their common controller board. The Shape Oko is all about extensibility, producibility, and modularity. The rails and belts and open architecture allow you to resize the machine however you need it. The carriage plates can be mass produced through water jetting or laser cutting, and you can stick everything from a sharpie to a laser in this thing. From an engineering perspective, the Nomad is a very focused, traditional beast. Take the simplest materials possible, in this case solid hunks of aluminum, and assemble them together in the strongest manner possible. It's beautiful in its own way, though the optional bamboo cladding does help. The rails in the Nomad are polished steel, the drive system is threaded rod based, it really does not get any stronger than this at the consumer grade level. The spindle motor is a brushless DC type that runs up to 10,000 RPM, coupled to a rock-solid bearing embedded in an aluminum mount. Built-in homing, tool-length probing, and digital spindle control make this as simple as possible to set up and run right out of the box. It also comes with some really nice options for work holding. Overall, it's a very well thought out ecosystem. All of these contribute to the cost being greater than that of the Shape Oko, but it's also why it won Make Magazine's 2015 Digital Fabrication Shootout in the category for Best Desktop Mill. If you're anything like me, the specs and craftsmanship of the machine alone are enough to induce heavy breathing. But what if CNC porn by itself doesn't do it for you? What if you're actually a rational shopper and care about practical things beyond what the machine is, but also what it can do? Well, for starters, it's ridiculously accurate. The calibration of everything is incredible, the backlash is negligible unless you're a rocket scientist, and you'd be hard-pressed to find any flex at all in the system. It's also ridiculously capable as long as you follow conservative feed rates. This thing will cut through anything a Shape Oko can, and more. Woods, plastics, non-ferrous metals, ferrous metals, they all cut so much more consistently because there's almost no deflection at the end mill. I wouldn't stick my neck out so far as to call it foolproof, but no other machine I know of enables this much capability for under $3,000. And if you're still hung up on that price point, let me do some market research for you. The most prominent turnkey desktop CNC alternatives are the Carvey and the Other Mill Pro. The Carvey is a very fine looking machine and far more rigid than its brother from another mother, the X-Carve, but it's still belt driven and sports a rather unmemorable DC spindle. It comes in at an MSRP of $2,500. The Other Mill Pro is a great option with solid steel rails and a threaded rod design. It comes with an impressive spindle that cranks to 2700 RPM, but it costs $3,200. Given those factors, I think the Nomad is actually reasonably priced. Is this machine for everyone? Absolutely not. If your ambitions include making plywood furniture, or signs, or carving pumpkins, you're going to need a bigger CNC. But for rapid prototyping of small parts with extreme precision and consistency, the Nomad is a very compelling option. Even if you have no plans to buy one, I hope you can at least appreciate the work the Carbide 3D team put into designing and building the Nomad. It's truly remarkable. And that's all I have for this week, which by the way is the week of Black Friday, so if you were to ever entertain the thought of buying a Nomad, you should take advantage of the freebies they're currently bundling with the machine. The Shape Oko deal isn't too shabby either. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll be back with my irregularly scheduled CNC programming in a week or two.